Ay ay ay, not the way I wanted to start off this vlog, but it is currently like 6 a.m. in the morning here in London, England, and hopefully I don't develop a really bad accent and start talking to you guys in an accent that I don't actually have. I just had the fire alarm here go off three times in a row. <gasps> really annoying. Just talked to some people outside in the hallway. They said it was a false alarm. Today is going to be our very first London vlog, and I don't know how I am doing this with a straight face because I'm still in shock and in pain from the fire alarm waking me up this morning. Right. I was working on my computer late last night, organizing files. Um, I'm on this trip while I still have a bunch of California, Las Vegas, and Texas vlogs to edit. So all over the place when it comes to my productivity, my my routine of editing and uploading videos. Um, I'm not sure entirely when this is gonna go up, but I hope you guys are doing well. We are going to be having a fun experience here in London, England. I'm here with a couple of friends. One of them is actually also awake right now. He texted me because uh, the alarms also woke him up too. So we're gonna link up with him in a second and we're gonna grab some McDonald's. So I don't know if they have like breakfast or like regional exclusive, exclusive exclusive items at McDonald's, so I'm gonna find out right now. It feels so good to be over here in Europe, and this is such a beautiful, beautiful city. London, London is such a beautiful, beautiful city. Like, look, look at this, man. Look at that. Oh, like the, the architecture here, the architecture for the buildings and the neighborhoods are just so, so nice. All right, enough chit chat. I'll meet you guys at McDonald's, and I'll show you guys my sneaker rotation for this trip as well. So I made it to McDonald's, it's right behind me. It'll be my very first time inside of a McDonald's in London, but there's like an all day breakfast spot right across the street from the McDonald's. So I'm kind of tempted, like check it out. All day breakfast right here, 8.95 pounds. It looks delicious and it's, I mean, it's all day. So it's gonna have to happen sometime during this week. But yeah, I'm craving some McDonald's. I need some iced coffee. I don't know what iced coffee is like here in the, in the UK. So let's go find out. Here is a look at the breakfast menu. We got porridge with jam. Never seen porridge with jam before in a McDonald's. Ooh, a breakfast roll with brown sauce? That looks really cool too. One thing I gotta say is I like how tiny the streets are here in London. Like it's really condensed and uh, like consolidated. So it really reminds me of Japan and especially because the streets are relatively clean. They're like cleaner than downtown Toronto. So that is kind of refreshing, which really reminds me more of Japan, which leads to like this entire like city being super, super uh, photo ready, photogenic. Uh, just like, look down here. Like just, just a walk down here, and um, there's like houses. There's like rainbow colored houses, like just randomly. Like there's so many cool photo spots here in London. Today, you know, regardless of how you feel, and, and you're obviously- Well, you know he's always got us. Yeah, you always need people in your life that are gonna give it to you straight. Of course, I mean- I So before we start doing some exploring and sneaker shopping in London, let's show you guys my weekly sneaker rotation for this trip. Today I'm wearing the Nike Air Max Plus or Air Max TN in this white colorway, which has this cool like holographic kind of uh, iridescent little thing on the bottom near the uh, the midsole. We also got the Varsity Maze or Wu-Tang Dunk Highs. These are super, super nice. And this is the first trip I'm actually wearing these. And like first week, I'm actually putting some uh, creases in these. For those dressier nights where I have to wear something a little more formal, we have the uh, these Gucci high tops with this all over Gucci black on black print. I bought these from the Gucci outlet in, uh, in Texas. If you guys wanna check out that vlog, it'll be linked down below. And last but not least, we have the Chicago Air Jordan 1 which I absolutely love. Probably one of my favorite sneakers in my collection and my favorite Air Jordan 1 next to the bread Air Jordan 1 high. Step into the room and we are on the third floor. There's actually a small little staircase, so kind of a unique compared to other hotel rooms I've been in. We have my suitcase taking up a large chunk of the floor right here. Here's a look at the restroom. We have a nice little shower. There's me. And then here's my desk. Uh, my workspace, I have a little book I'm reading as uh, my mouse pad because I forgot my mouse pad. A TV which I never turned on and the bed was pretty cool and the lighting is nice too, but the view. I gotta say there's a microwave and a fridge there, but the view, the view is definitely a nice little bonus out here. Very, very beautiful. So 
right now we're in one of the major shopping areas here in London. There's so many stores here. I just stopped by like a uh, Zara, H&M, I guess. Now right behind me, there's this massive department store called Harrods and they have a lot of stores inside of it. A lot of designer stuff. They even have a toy section, a designer section. A, like there's so much stuff inside. I think like Nordstrom, but like super, super elevated. And there's also a size store inside on the second floor. So size question mark. We're gonna go inside. It's like one of their premier sneaker stores here in Europe. We have a couple locations in Canada and they just opened up one in Toronto. I still have to go to that location, but let's go inside and show you guys what sneakers are sitting and we'll see if there's any heat that we can buy as well. So let's get inside. things get a little sticky inside of size. So as you guys saw, there was a bunch of dope sneakers that they had sitting, including those Nike Dunks. So I decided to try on the pair of white and green Nike Dunks. And I asked for a size 10 at first, cause that's my usual Nike size. However, I completely forgot I was in the UK. So there's a UK size and a US size. So I actually got a US size 11. They went back to the back and they grabbed the right size for me, which was the size 10 US or a UK nine in this case. What happens next is where things ended up going horribly. I try on these size 10 and it fit me absolutely perfectly. So the employee at size takes the pair and puts it behind the cash register for me to buy later. As you guys know, that's a pretty standard thing to do when you are buying sneakers. The employee puts the shoes by the cash register so you can buy the pair. Now in between the purchasing process and trying them on is where things went very, very wrong. So I told the employee after I tried them on, I'm gonna keep looking throughout the store, vlog a little bit more, look if there's any more pairs I wanna buy. And that's when three resellers came into the store and they saw that all the Nike Dunks were sitting. They also had some Nike Dunk Lows, which I didn't even see the first time. Basically, they were clearing out the entire stock of these green and white Nike Dunks that size just got in the other day. So I was like, what a, what a relief. I came just in time to buy the pair before these resellers were gonna buy out the inventory. This is where things went awfully wrong. Basically, I continue vlogging throughout the store and after about 10 minutes of time, they're about to check out. They're, they have like five pairs in total, six pairs, I believe. And I was like, wow, they got a lot of pairs. Well, I'm glad I got my pair secured behind the counter for myself to buy. And then 
I went to buy my pair and that's when I realized that the other employee that was helping out the resellers he took the pair that I had put aside for me by the other employee to buy and they sold the resellers the pair right in front of me. To add salt to the wound, I called the employee out on it like right in front of the resellers after the transaction was done and I was like, yo, that's uh, that's the pair I'm gonna buy too. I'm so glad I, I happened to grab a size 10 right before these guys came. And that's when the employee realized he made a huge mistake. Now the resellers were just, you know, kind of like, hey, it's kind of the employee's fault, not their fault, and I can't really blame the resellers. The resellers took the pair, they kind of laughed and chuckled and walked out of the store with the pair I was supposed to buy and I was just really, really disappointed. I'm not the type of guy who likes to have conflicts and stuff in person. I'm not the very dramatic kind of person where I'm gonna argue and, and stuff, so I was, I was like infuriated on the inside. You could tell like if there was like steam boiling up, you know those like animations and, and cartoons where like you're a kettle and the steam's boiling and the head is, a, is about to explode. That's me, my eyes are like getting, not, I'm not about to cry, but I'm just getting like emotional, like really, really pissed. Like I could have an outburst at any moment. Basically the resellers stole, and in quotes, the last pair that were meant for me. Like it, they were literally set aside for me to purchase. So size, uh, I gotta say, you absolutely suck. I will not shop. Frig, I have to shop there again because I'm buying a gift for my friend and they have the last pair there. But besides that, I'm never gonna shop inside of a size again willingly and just give them my money because that was a horrible, like the worst, customer service experience I've had in my entire life. Now the employee offered to sell me this Nike Dunk Low that they also had and I was like, I don't really like this pair. Like I'm not a reseller, so I'm not trying to buy the pair just to flip. I have limited luggage space. I'm not gonna try and bring home extra pairs I don't want. I ended up deciding to buy the other pair of Nike Dunks. I forget the exact name that they are. They weren't even my size. I was like, you know what? Maybe I can squeeze them. They're a size nine US. I'm a size 10 US. I just bought them for the sake of buying something. So this pair right here in this box. I'm just gonna go back to the store this week and return them, I think. They're pretty cool, don't get me wrong, but they're just not my size. That was probably the worst experience I've ever had shopping in my entire life. I hope no one ever has to deal with that because if it, if you have had to deal with that where like resellers come in and buy the pair that you were supposed to buy, that you tried on and everything, let me know in the comment section down below. I'd love to hear your like sneaker shopping horror stories. But yeah, I'm not sure what store we're gonna go to next. I have an entire like Google Maps and Note uh, with like all these locations to go to that you guys sent me on Instagram. So shout out to those of you guys who sent me places to go sneaker shopping. So we linked up with the boy Dougie, my favorite photographer in the world. He's gonna be shooting a bunch of content for me while here. So check out my Instagram, AskSneakerTalksCA. We're here in London now looking for some dinner and uh, I'm craving a little bit of KFC. He's craving some KFC. Our friend who lives in London says the KFC here is 10 times better than Canadian KFC. Now I love, I, I love, love. KFC in Canada. KFC is one of my favorite sponsors I've ever worked with as well. So we're gonna see how London, England's KFC compares to Canada. Let's test it out and then we'll get back to some more sneaker shopping down the road. KFC secured and one thing that's gonna take some getting used to is there's so many pull doors here in the UK like when you leave a building like the KFC was a pull door so it's so weird when you leave when you're holding a vlog camera you're holding your food you gotta you gotta do something so yeah what's with the what's with all the pull doors and not push doors here in London is it come on come on London back at the hotel room and we have the new KFC daredevil bites right here we have the sweet chili flavor buffalo flavor as well there's no special thing there we don't have a fork or a spoon we have a, a, a spork a, a, a fork and a spoon that had a baby there's three different like levels we got peri peri fire fiery buffalo and then sweet chili so I actually don't even know which flavor is which let's see how this goes here it is take a look at that that's good mmm mm. okay has a little kick to it it's not bad all right let's try the buffalo one up next I believe this should be the buffalo one if not then that was more sweet than it was spicy but here we go this is the next one up okay I was expecting harder regardless pretty good if you like this video click on screen right now to watch my LA vlogs that went down a couple of weeks ago you guys are gonna really enjoy them we went to a lot of dope sneaker stores and thrift stores click on screen and binge watch some more travel vlogs